Hello, welcome to Stamping by Hannah today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a 3D project for you this week. Um, so I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm based in the UK. Um, I have a couple of things I just wanted to really quickly mention before we get into the video. Um, just as a very, very quick reminder that the annual catalogue and the mini catalogue are about to um, retire at the end of this month. The last chance sales are on. Um, so do hop over to my store. Link is in the down bar below. Um, for all the details of everything that's that's retiring and what's discounted and all of that. There are retiring colours on this project, but I'm not going to use retiring product, um, anything retiring today. I'm actually going to use some stuff that's coming back. I'm hoping <laughs> that um, some of the returning in colours ink pads are not really dry because I haven't actually tested them before I've started to film this. So... We ha I have pulled up into my archives. I've not got my new ink pads yet. Um, I've been to my archives and pulled out some classic, classic um, Stampin' Up! inks um, that are in old cases and everything. So we'll see. We'll see if they still work. Uh, but yeah, so I've got this is um, this project for you this week. This is a note card box. I actually shared this project uh, with the team at a retreat, a crafty retreat back in... February. <laughs> Lots has happened since then. Um, and so I've been meaning to get to this. Um, I also shared a video a few weeks ago um, of the other make and take I did, which I've now lost notice. Oh, piles of cards behind me, which was this one, uh, which was a really lovely um, gatefold with a difference um, project so that is um, available on my youtube already so um, if you hop over to the channel you'll be able to find that one um, but yeah so this is a really sweet little box really thin very cute little box uh, that holds note cards and envelopes now i'm not going to do the note cards bit with you um today because they're really simple um but i will show you what they look like um i'm just gonna do the box they're really really cute and i used um soft succulent calypso coral orchid oasis i think that's daffodil delight um i don't know what color that is i want to say that it's something like it might be barley blue actually for the leaves um, but yeah so that it fits note cards and envelopes in it this box um, i do love the stamp up note cards they're really really cute then they're, they're smaller than a standard size um, card but yeah just a cute box to put them in with the lid so shall we get going i have got a couple of pieces of thick basic white cardstock so this one um, is 18 and a half centimetres wide by the full length of a card, a piece of cardstock. Um, and the reason I've done that is just so you can see it kind of clearly on, on screen because we're going to kind of make our own designer series paper. So I'm going to grab out, I've got the Petal Park and Sentimental Park stamp sets. These are carrying over into the new annual catalogue, um, but um, are not bundled. So currently this stamp set is bundled with the coordinating punch and this one sentimental park has a set of dies which i have admit i have not bought um but i did get the stamp set so if you want both of them together you'll save 10 percent at the moment also there is a whole suite of products that's both of these stamp sets the punch the dies and designer series paper and i think some embellishments all bundled together and you'll save money on that as well but they are carrying forward so if you really like them and you think that you'll use them heaps and you want all of it, I would grab them now while they're bundled at 10% off. Otherwise, wait until the new cat's on. So, I am going to stamp the leaves first. And I'm actually going to stamp these in Lost Lagoon. So, if you haven't ever seen my last video or any other videos looks all right doesn't it um from any demonstrators recently stamping up are having a color refresh this year which is very exciting um and oh we have a load of returning colors and lost lagoon uh berry burst and lemon lime twist which are the colors that i pulled 
out are, um, are all coming back to us, which is really exciting. Um, and they're colours that I've had before because I've been a demonstrator for eight years this year, which is just a bit crazy. And so, and I don't get rid of ink pads ever. So I've been into my into my stash and pulled these ones out and this actually stamps really nicely <laughs> this is a bit this is, i love lost lagoon and this is a color when it retired the first time around i was bereft i really just adore this color it's that really lovely kind of blue tealy green just lush so that is that i mean look at it just gorgeous. So I am going to get a new one anyway, just regardless. But um, yeah, my old one still works. That's so exciting. So that's that. Then I'm going to grab Lemon Lime Twist and we're going to do some Lemon Lime Flowers. Oh, this one looks all right as well. Mm, a little bit of pain in the middle, but we'll see. We'll give it a go. This one isn't as old. So, oh yeah, perfect. Right. Now, this is a stamp set where there is, it is kind of designed to sit one way and the the flowers do sit really nicely nestled into the leaves however i don't think it really matters um how well you stamp them when you're doing something like this which is repeat stamping over and over and over again um and it, it, you're not going to really notice it um there are yeah, it's on the front of a card, maybe a bit different, but generally it doesn't matter if it's a bit off. Oh, Berry Burst hasn't survived quite so well. This is, can you see that? We'll go with slightly textured. So this might not stamp as well or as nicely, but we'll see. Stamp it off first. Oh, it's okay. So. I love this colour as well. It's such a fabulous kind of, it's a darker pink, almost in that, oh, sorry, almost in that kind of purple tone. And it's just, just stunning. And I am very excited for it to be back. So that is all the ones that are kind of with leaves. I'm going to just pop some extras on, because I can, because I do, I just, oh, I am, I'm really excited to have this colour back, it is so pretty, there, right, so we have made our own fabulous designer series paper to make our box base out of, and then, so I need to grab in my trimmer so like i said this is 18 and a half centimeters that way and then we need two pieces that measure 12 and a half so i'm going to cut one there and i do apologize for anybody who uses inch measurements um this is just in centimeters because anything other than that hurt my brain um if you pop over onto my blog i might be able to put the inch measurements up i did have them because i didn't work them out <laughs> my very clever friend worked them out for me because i just can't do it uh, but i don't know where they are at the moment so then we need to do some scoring so the stamping trimmer has got two blades on it you've got a dark but dark gray blade which is your cutting blade i'm gonna put that right at the top by the way and then the lighter gray blade which is the scoring one so we're going to use this one for the next bit so, with your piece of cardstock in kind of landscape mode, we're going to score on the uh, two and a half centimetres. We're going to measure, we're going to do it on three sides. So you've got down one side, across the bottom, and then up the other side. So you're not scoring, so you're kind of scoring a kind of U shape. Hoping you can see this might be the other way. So we've got a score line here, across the bottom, and up, but nothing across here. Okay, so we're gonna do that again on the other one. So 
down one side, across the bottom, and up the other side. I am not a box maker, um, usually. Um, and this this took you should see I should have kept actually my all of my samples for this there were so many so this is going to be the lid this piece this piece measures let me get my put my ink pads on top of my post-it now this is 18.6 centimeters by 7.6 centimeters that's the reason I can't do the imperial measurements off the top of my head so we're going we're going to score this at two and a half centimeters on all four sides so both short sides. And both long sides. Like that. So that one, and I've not stamped this one either, so it's just just kept it white, just like the sample, and that scored on all four sides. Right, move my trim out of the way. And grab my bone folder. So, I'm going to score, or fold, on those score lines. And just burnish them with the bone fold. The reason for that is it gives you a really crisp finish. Um, if you just fold it, it won't necessarily sit or be as kind of nicely folded or scored, if you like. So, just and because it's thick cardstock... Normally, I'm not, I don't push particularly hard, but with it being a thicker cardstock, because it's a box, I've gone for thick, um, it's a little bit, a little bit harder. You could do this out of standard weight um, as well, but I just like, I prefer, prefer a thick. You will find as well that the basic white standard is a little bit thinner than um, coloured cardstock. And... That's just because the coloured cardstock's got dye in it. So it, it's naturally a little bit thicker. Whereas the white obviously hasn't. So there we go. Now I'm going to grab my paper snips. I'm going to take both of these pieces and we're going to chop up. So you've got a little a little square on each on two, on the two corners. We're going to cut up the score line and take a little notch out. So, up the score line, notch out. And we're going to take a little bit off there as well. Up that score line, notch it out, and a little bit off there. Super simple, because I don't do complicated. So, up out we had so much fun at our crafty retreat as well um i did a little bit of a recap video at the time um, like i said it was it was back in february um but they're so they, they are brilliant brilliant fun um then with our lid we're going to do the same so you've got Three almost square, two squares and an almost square. We're going to cut up the score lines and notch out of the squares on the edges. So the middle one needs to stay a square shape. Yeah, we, we spend a weekend, a couple of times a year, all of us together. We do a lot of talking. We all spend Monday, usually having to put annual leave in for work because... <laughs> We can't speak anymore. Um, we do, yeah, a lot of talking. A lot of eating of cake. Um, eat, yeah, actually just eating a lot of food in general, actually, um, is what happens. <laughs> Quite a bit of crafting. Usually more chatting than crafting, though. So, move all of this off to one side. And then, it's just a case of assembly. So, I'm going to grab my... She says, I can't see it. No, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted. There it is. This is Seal Plus. Now, I am not good with this stuff, but we will get it. we're going to give it a go and try and make it work. 
So I'll move my lid out of the way. This box comes together really, really easily because you're just making like two halves and sticking them together. Can you see? So I'm going to do the first one first. That'd be good, wouldn't it? So one, two. Oh, that, this is why I don't get on with this stuff. Just pulled it off the, because you don't need to just... Yeah, I'm hopeless, absolutely hopeless with this stuff. Straight. There, that's it. Straight down and straight up. Right. So that is the first one. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this one around it. Like so like that so then what we can do the second one is we can take a line of seal plus all the way down this edge up and all the way down this edge up and i've gone off the edge of that one and then she says because i've now put seal on oh you know I'm, i am hope plus honestly so <laughs> Line it up and pop that on. I'm going to pop some seal plus up along the bottom of there as well. Fold that in like that, and then the bottom. And there is our really quick and simple box. How cute is that? And then with our lid, we're gonna pop the, the adhesive on those four uh, pieces that we notched out. Like so. Seal Plus definitely does take, there's a knack. And we're just folding that those in over. Yeah, there's definitely a knack to seal plus, and it's not something I use that often. So then I haven't got the best technique. So that forms our lid, and then fingers crossed, that will then sit nicely on there. And then you can finish the box however you like. So this one, I have gone ahead and put a, a vellum circle on, some punch flowers. Um, sentiment comes from Sentimental Park. Um, and some more die cut pieces and some yeah, punch flowers. These are the milky dots that are retiring actually. Um, this one I'm going to leave completely plain because everything is for this one. But that is my cute little um, note cards and envelopes box. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you've enjoyed some new colours or new, maybe new to you colours. Um, and don't forget that everything... Um, all the new stuff comes at the start of May, so you've got um, a couple of weeks left to wait for that, unless you become a demonstrator. If you um, are interested in becoming a demonstrator, everything, um, all the new colours are available to us right now because we are in pre-order for the new catalogue. Um, just ask me for more information on that, and I will see you again really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.